Hey everybody, watch this review here with a look at the Marvel Legends Scroll Electra from the Hasbro Marvel Legends 2 packs. She's paired with Ronin, who will have his own review later on. Both figures feature interchangeable parts and a surprising number of weapons. I really like this art heavy package design where we have the split dichotomy with each side devoted to one of the characters. You'll notice that the face shot here actually goes into a full panel on the side. And under that you have another shot of the character. However, once you flip the packaging around, nothing. Boring. I'm not sure why they do that. I mean, the front obviously to catch your attention, but this isn't a very strong selling point. I mean, I've literally seen things like these in stores. I've picked them up, been really excited, and I flip to the back, and when I'm just looking at it, for some reason the excitement vanishes. And I think that's just it, the fact that we have just such a boring back of the package. A little bit of a read-up though, so, you know, it's informative and it does have full shots of the characters in case you can't see them that won't pack. I mean, I guess you could call it functional but boring. Yeah, bit like me, huh? Yeah, let's get this package open. Scrollectra comes with two size, the katana that she's holding, two hand replacements, as well as the head of Clinton Barton. Mwahahaha. Actually, it's Clint Barton, a Ronin's accessory, and then the nunchucks are technically also Ronin's, but, you know, they're with the figure. Uh, for some reason, I, for the life of me, I can't figure out what the hell these hands are actually used for. I would assume they're possibly for the katanas, but I can't figure out a way to actually get the katanas to be held in any some way, manner that makes sense, but, I mean, I don't know. Somebody will probably figure out what they're for and correct me. They look a little bit like gun hands, but I doubt they can actually hold a weapon. Now, at the risk of offending some of you Skrillectra fans out there, I really just bought this pack for the Ronin. I actually picked up for 5 bucks at the Marshalls, which is why you should always be checking these small furniture stores. Never know what you'll find. And I'll probably end up using Skrillectra for a custom sometime in the future. But um, In terms of sculpt, we have a... I don't know, I guess it's a decent looking head sculpt, but these scroll heads, especially the female ones, just look so creepy to me. So, you know, body-wise, kind of weird body, and then some of the joints just look really awful. Especially right down here at the hips, where the hip meets the thigh, where we have this really blatant detachment, which just seems like a pretty glaring design flaw. If you try to put much pressure on it, it will just slide out on both sides, and I don't believe it's a error specific to this, my one figure. I mean, other than that, you know, not a ton to say. Very, very basic paint job. Not a whole lot of detail except for the skirt portion here, or whatever you call that. Maybe a sash or something. And you can clearly tell that they just painted on the delineation between flesh and costume, which always looks a bit cheap also with the bands on the arms. She does have the typical kind of foot thing there where you have the, um, what's it called, like an obi or toby or something, it's some weird word. I've got uh, no clue though. In terms of articulation, I mean all the joints seem to like really feel kind of weak. <clears throat> Other than that problem at the thigh and the point of my knees being a little bit loose, I mean, all the joints do function pretty well, and it's got a pretty good range of articulation. We have rotation at the wrist in addition to forward back. Same kind of joint here at the um, elbow. Good range of motion. Now, at the shoulder, we do not have a bicep joint, which is usually a good choice with female figures because you get more of the arm sculpt. Wherever you put the bicep in, half the time makes the arm look a little bit bulkier here, which, you know, isn't very attractive. But, I mean, it's just a standard ball-jointed shoulder. Head does not have much articulation between the hair impeding and then the sash from the bandana or whatever impeding. I mean, you can get it to move, but... Yeah. Actually... Oh, no! It's kind of creepy. But yeah, you can have uh, Skrillectra become Skrull Cliff Barton, 
or scroll transvestite Clinton Barton. Somebody's gonna probably yell at me about that. Um, but yeah, here at the torso we have a full range of rotation. Standard, well not standardish ball jointed leg. It's one of those kind of crappy ball joints where you have like that one. No, wait, it's not even that. No, it's just a kind of awful ball jointed leg. It won't kick forward much, or for some reason it's not doing it this leg. But I mean, maybe it's just the joint needs to be worked in, or maybe you do have to twist it like in the other ones. But I mean, it looks like it's just a something different about it. So. I don't know. Also, free gratuitous upskirt there. Double jointed knee. And then at the ankle slash foot, we have a full rotation in addition to a up, down. And my phone is ringing. So yeah, it was an automated message from a candidate who I'm probably not going to vote for now. hate it when they do that just because it's just so annoying. You can send me stuff in the mail, but don't call me with your freaking automated messages. But as I was saying, you know, I mean, on the whole, it's not like it's a really bad figure or anything. I mean, the only really down point here is at the hip and again at the thigh, where, you know, it just doesn't work out too well. And a lot of my um, complaints with the character itself, which aren't even really complaints, it's just the fact that I'm not a Skrelectra fan and this face... This face scares me. It's a face only a Skrull mother could love. Again, no offense to Skrullectra fans or Skrull fans in general. But yeah, on the whole, you know, pretty decent figure. I probably will customize it. I'm not sure what I'll customize it into. Or if I will actually customize it at all because I'm a pretty lazy guy at times. By the way, quick note, the figure is a little under 6 inches and I've had trouble standing it up, which you've probably noticed. But um, until next time, folks, be sure to check out my Ronin review if you haven't seen it already. Or, it's not up yet.